Welcome to another edition of the HHC Sports Weekly. This week, Seymour and Jeffersonville kicked off the conference campaign, Madison broke a losing streak, and BNL recorded a second straight shutout. Let's get started with all the highlights. Jeffersonville visited Seymour to kick off the Hoosier Bills Conference campaign and christen the new turf field at Seymour. The Red Devils played spoiler as they left with a 29-15 road victory. Cam Northern completed 13 of 22 passes for 131 yards and Jordan Barnett ran for 139 yards and two touchdowns for the Red Devils. Jeffersonville overcame 15 penalties for 120 yards, and the Red Devils had four touchdowns called back because of flags. The Red Devils improved to 1-1 overall. Alan Perry had a touchdown run of 7 yards and a touchdown pass of 10 yards to Zach Carpenter, but Seymour fell to 0-2. Madison ended a 12-game losing streak with a 33-14 win over South Dearborn. Sophomore receiver Clayton Hamby had a monster game, catching eight passes for 196 yards and two touchdowns. He also had a rushing touchdown. Madison quarterback Andrew Frazier was 13-21 for 235 yards. Bedford North Lawrence in its home opener dominated Indianapolis Marshall 50 to nothing. The Stars posted their first back-to-back -back shutouts since 1975 and started 2-0 for the first time since 2005. Bienal also scored the most points in a game since posting 52 against Seymour in 2012, and it also rep represented Bienal's biggest margin of victory since a 65-6 win over Genius County in 2005. Esteban Flores was one of the stars for the Stars as he caught a 42-yard touchdown pass from McCall Ray and also kicked two field goals. Austin Jovanovic had two touchdown runs. Marshall, which has lost 15 straight games, was limited to five first downs, and BNL's victory was its largest shutout win since a 55-0 win over Madison in 2005. Floyd Central improved to 1-1 one one with a 42-6 victory over Providence, and the Highlanders did it with defense. They forced five turnovers, including three on consecutive possessions to start the second half. Jason Cundiff ran for 91 yards and two touchdowns for the Highlanders. In the city rivalry game, Columbus North stunned Columbus East 30 to 13. North ended East's 44 game regular season winning streak as North quarterback Tristan Perry threw a 64 yard touchdown to Jalen Flemons and a 48 yarder to JD Harris in the second half. Columbus East scoring came from Cam Wilson, who caught a 33 yard touchdown pass from Josh Major, and Jamon Hogan, who had a 44 yard run in the third quarter that gave East a brief lead. Hogan finished with 152 yards rushing for the Olympians. Castle won an offensive shootout with New Albany, clipping the Bulldogs 35-32. Noah Taylor ran for 180 yards and three touchdowns for the Knights. Darquan Richardson had another huge game for the Bulldogs, 
as he ran for 144 yards and four touchdowns. Jalen Ray recovered a blocked punt in the end zone, and Noah McLean caught six passes for 100 yards for New Albany, which slipped to 1-1. One and one. At Greensburg, the Pirates dominated Jennings County 41-7. Jennings County struggled offensively, totaling just 59 yards. Greensburg, meanwhile, had 245 yards of offense. James Kalina had a 30-yard touchdown run for the Panthers in the fourth quarter. Congratulations to the Bedford North Lawrence girls golf team, which captured the first HHC title of the fall season. Bailey Gilmore shot a 77 as the Stars won their first HHC title since 1994, and they did it by one shot on a fifth-man tiebreaker. This week, all the conference teams face each other. Bedford North Lawrence will be at Jeffersonville, Madison visits Floyd Central, New Albany will visit Jennings County, and Seymour will travel to Columbus East. That wraps up another edition of the HAC Sports Weekly. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and on Facebook, and join us again next week when we bring you all the highlights from the Hoosier Hills Conference.